Gale, who's an independent film producer and director, who's created the documentary Hostile, looking into Britain's negative attitudes towards immigrants. Sunita, this documentary's got lots of plaudits. I can see it's got lots of stars from The um, Guardian and Time Out, and it's picking up BAFTA nominations and all sorts. Tell us about the documentary. Yeah, so the documentary, um, by the way, hello, David, nice to meet you. Nice um, to meet you. The, uh, the documentary is about the hostile environment in the UK. So, you know, the hostile environment is really a set of policies put in place um, by, by governments to make life so unbearable for individuals. They either get deported or it deter people from coming here or when people are here, make life so unbearable that they just can't live here. And so they voluntarily leave. So really, the film is about the hostile environment told through the lives of four individuals from the Black and Asian community. And um, it's really a very timely and very important film. And I started to make the film right at the start of the pandemic in March 2020. Um, but really, I was making a different film. And once I started filming, I started learning through my participants that this thing existed called the hostile environment. Um, specifically, I learned about no recourse to public funds, which is a condition put upon people's uh, visas and statuses who are subject to the hostile environment. So the more I learned about NRPF, the more I learned about the hostile environment, the more I went on a journey in terms of making this film. Sunita, what, what did you, I mean, lots of listeners will have heard about the Windrush scandal. Lots of listeners will have listened uh, to the two sides of the debate around those that are crossing the English Channel. Uh, lots of listeners will have heard the debates recently about how many people we should take from Afghanistan and our responsibilities to Afghanistan. In a, way, in a sense, you've learned about the conditions that exist for people once they come to this country. You said, you know, no recourse to public funds is one of the um, elements of that that make it actually quite tough for people. Um, have we created a seriously hostile environment in this country? Is it actually working? Um, I think we have created a hostile environment. I think we've created it because... You know, I think there is this kind of um, understanding that people are here sponging off our system. And in fact, that's not true. People are here, they're law abiding, they're here legally and lawfully. You know, they're paying their taxes, they are working here, they're contributing to our society, they're paying their national insurance, they're paying their taxes, but they're subject to no recourse to public funds. So in a global pandemic, when you're an NHS worker who I featured in my film, loses their job, they can't access anything. And yet they've been here for eight years, you know, working here and paying their taxes. And at that point, you become destitute. You have children, you can't claim anything, housing benefit, disability allowance, you can't get any uh, universal credit. So you're just stuck and you're left with all these bills and just no income. So actually that, that hostile environment is created and it's created for people that are here legally and lawfully. I mean, now, you know, everybody is subject to the hostile environment, even now with the conditions with the Nationality and Borders Bill, they're going to make asylum seekers and refugees subject to the hostile environment by subjecting them to NRPF. So it's, it is something that is highly damaging and just extremely cruel. And I think, you know, it's been put in place for a reason to make life unbearable for people when they're here and to, to deter them from coming. Um, so I think, you know, that hostility is there and it's growing. Sunita, you were motivated to do this because you are the daughter of immigrants, as I understand it. Yeah. Uh, you've talked about changes that are being made currently in Parliament. And of course, they're being made by Priti Patel, who's also the daughter of immigrants. Yeah. Tell us your story very briefly and how you yeah. feel about that. Yeah, I mean, my parents came here post partition of India and Pakistan. So in the early 50s and, you know, they fled India and that was pretty much down to empire and British rule. So when they came here, they made a life for themselves. And, you know, they set up a convenience store, they worked in the factories. 
And it was really their, their life and their story that led me to make Hostile. When the, when the pandemic struck, it took me right back to my childhood. And I guess, you know, Pretty Patel comes from a similar background to me. Her parents came here as asylum seekers. They set up news agents and were very successful. So my and her backgrounds aren't dissimilar, but obviously I took a different path. However, I don't blame the entire system on one person. In my film, I ask the question, why do we have this hostile environment? It didn't start in 2012. And I go back to the history of hostility with legislation and policies that have been put in place by successive governments. And, and that took me right back to the 50s and the 60s and 70s and 80s until the present day. So I think really we can't put it on one government and we cannot put it on one person. And I think uh, th that she is part of a system of successive governments that have just created this hostility. Um, so I hope with this film, we raise awareness and we're part of enacting some kind of positive change. Sunita, where can we see the film? So the film is on a cinema tour. Um, super excited that it got it got picked up by Picture House. It's now in many independent cinemas across the country. Um, I'm in London next week, but you can find tickets on www.hostiledocumentary.com. Um, and I'm attending the Q&As. We've been sold out at a lot of them. Um, and you can also follow me at Hostile Doc. Um, and please join us. The debates are great. We're joined by organizations like Human Rights Watch, JCWI, Praxis. You know, these are organizations that are working to fight against these policies. And so it's a really informed debate after the cinema screening. Um, and people have been moved, David. People from all different demographics, black, white, brown, whatever socioeconomic group have been moved by this film. And there is this sense of unity that we need to fight this together because of the police bill and because of the borders bill, people are seeing now that that hostility is creeping more into everyday lives of everyday people. Sunita Gale, independent film producer and director of the documentary Hostile. Thank you so much for joining me and for all of your work.